here we are again. This is Hal. And Trey. And, and we, we go, go way too far. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? We are back. And we are going to have a good time. All right. Uh, we are going to take you guys all the way to the motherland. Oh, yeah. So come on and join us. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Tracy so she can explain to you what's going on and what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Man, we have so much, as you can see, our beautiful African oasis. Mm -hmm. And we went way too, too far. far. And to our friends, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. But look, babe, there is so much going on. There's so much going on in the month of February. Tell us about it. Tell us. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, guys, it's our anniversary. Woohoo! We're celebrating 31 years of marriage. 31 right. years yeah, that's of right. marriage. 31 years of how we get on my nerves. <laughs> I, that's my job. He got that right. So, yes, guys, we are celebrating and we're doing a theme inspired by coming to America. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> we all love that movie. Yeah. But look, again, and not only that, but it's also February, which is the month of love. It's also February, which is the month that we celebrate Black history and African American history in these United States. So we're going to try to cover the tracks with just a little bit of everything. And if we forget anything, forgive us. Forgive but us. But look, baby. Yes. Today. Yes. I didn't cook. Oh. What did you do, honey? I bought. <laughs> well, I know you ain't that tired then. I'm tired. You Can't you just, tired? Look at all this work here. Oh, yeah, but you didn't do no cooking. I didn't do a stitch of cooking. All right, come and on. even though I love cooking, uh -huh. I didn't miss it. I we, we do have some good food, don't we? Yes. All right. We have African food. African food, all right. Oh, yeah. All so right, we're right. having authentic African fair today. Mm -hmm. We are having, and if I if I mistake, if I if I don't say some of the things correctly, forgive me. But I'll try. But we're gonna have the famous Igusi stew. Ooh, we're gonna Igusi have stew. Yes. Mm. We're gonna have cassava leaf stew. Cassava leaf stew. That's right. Now cassava is that like a part of the cassava uh, that you guys have in Panama? I don't know. We're so we gonna find <laughs> out. But we're having cassava leaf stew. We're having jollof rice. Ooh, jollof rice. We're having chicken yasa. What? Chicken yasa. Chicken yasa. Yeah. We also have another dish, and I forgot what the name of it is, baby. Maybe as we show that dish, if any of you know the name of that dish, drop us a line. Let us know exactly what the name is. We really appreciate it. You got so full, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to dive in. All and right. guys, we have it all decorated with the African flair here. And look, look, baby. What? Look. Look at these silverwares. Ooh, wee, I feel fancy. See the silverware? Throw them to the side, baby, because we eat with our fingers today. Oh, you don't have nothing to say now? <laughs> I try. <laughs> But we'll see how we end up. <laughs> Babe, we going yeah. with the fingers. Mm. And don't look at my fingers because I forgot to put the fingernails on. And I ain't getting no manicure. But you know what? I'm glad because yeah. I don't have to get food in my nails. All right, well, I'll try anything. You got it. All right. All right. All right, babe. All right, what are we going to try first, honey? We have here yes. some cassava leaf stew. Ooh, cassava leaf stew. Yeah, and cassava, it sounds like some kind of a potato or something that you guys had. 
in Panama. I'm not sure, okay. but it's cassava leaf stew. Uh -huh. So as you can see, we threw away our spoons and our forks, and we're gonna get our hands dirty. Mm. So from what I understand, you're supposed to eat the the fufu, which is this guy right here. Um, and you're supposed to take the fufu off, dip it in your food, and eat it along with your food as if you were sopping with bread. Okay. That's what I understand. Okay? So, now, I didn't know what fufu was, but to my understanding, fufu is a combination of the yucca root, like, which is like a sort of a potato, and plantain, which to my understanding might have dried it out, but I could be wrong. You can let me know and also butter mm. that they meal and mix together. Okay. So we're gonna take a piece of this fufu, uh -huh. and you can see fufu is soft, it's really and it's, soft. it's damp, it's like wet. Okay. And, and, and so we're gonna take a piece off and dip it in our cassava stew, and how? Yes. I heard we're supposed to smack the fufu. Smack it? I heard we're supposed to smack it. I think that's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you don't want to like smack it. Oh, God. We're good, good. So you got to take a little piece, babe. All right. Just really take a piece good. of, I can tell you. So before we get started, guys, I saw a young lady do this. She kind of rolled the fufu in her hands. But look, I want to put in this too. So, you know, everybody, every culture eats differently. That's nothing new to anybody. But I don't want to be disrespectful to people's food, so you won't see that. But, you know, I'll say if there's something that I don't like, <laughs> look at me now, I'm talking myself out of it, then I'm just going to have to be honest about it that I don't like it. It's not to offend anyone. Look at how. How I tend to think people from other countries just naturally incline. Because Howard is from a different country, as you guys know. But look, he just went for it. Mm, it ain't bad. Okay, eat it. Mm. Okay. I have to say, mm -hmm. there's meat in here. Yeah. It's like some chicken. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's like a chicken or like a smoke, beef. smoke meat. Some sort of smoked meat's in there. But I will tell you, it's like smoked meat here. It's not bad. It's like a beef. And it's really tender. Yeah. And I was worried about the food for it. That's what I was worried about because mm -hmm. of the texture. But it's not bad. No, it's kind of like, it's kind of doughy. But it has a, it's doughy. a nice flavor. Especially when you mix it. It's good. It's actually the good. Like, I was shocked. It's good. It was really awesome. Yeah. The cassava? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like spinach to me. Mm -hmm. What does that say to you? If you had to compare it to something. Yeah. Spinach. But it's like, real good. And that beef. Now we're going to be eating the fufu. Oh. Use your clean hand, babe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to around. Yeah, that meat. That smoked meat is tender. It is good. Yeah. Oh my. You know, being from, being in the U.S. and mm. you wonder what other people eat. Mm -hmm. Like I never would have thought that they ate like this in Africa. You know, it's really good. Yeah. Well, I think mostly uh, the cassava is from like West Africa. Mm. But don't get me the line. <laughs> All right. So whatever part of Africa is from, it's good. All right. Wow, okay. Well, here we go again. What are we going to try now, babe? Now we're going to try what they call chicken yasa and the famous jollof rice, mm. like the red rice. Mm. Okay, so babe, before we get going, here uh -huh. you go again. Oh, he's just gone with those fingers. Before we get going, babe, yeah. I forgot to mention where I got it from. 
Oh, what do you got? So I got the food here in Indianapolis, um, and I got it from two different places because I couldn't find everything in one place, although I found most things in one place. So the um, cassava that we had, I got that from a rest African restaurant here in Indianapolis called Medina. Medina. Yes, that's where I got the Medina. That's where I got the um, cassava stew. Okay. The um, the fufu. I got that from a restaurant here in Indianapolis called De Proof. I don't know. That's what they call themselves. De Proof. De Proof. D E P R O O F. Just like that. De Proof. De Proof. So yeah. So I got that from there and some other things. And as we go along, I'll, I'll decipher what came from what. Because I like to give them the proper credit. So, babe, I think, too, yeah. we can take fufu along with this. Yeah, okay. Well. Now, the chicken um, yasa is like a gravy base with a lot mm -hmm. of onions. Babe, you know what I noticed? Mm. I noticed, like, for instance, when we ate the fufu mm -hmm. for the first time, mm -hmm. food has lots of psychology. Because had I eaten that without knowing what was actually in it, I think I would have had a different taste on it. Look at how it goes. Mm -hmm. Go, Howard, go. Let me eat this food. Mm -hmm. All right, babe, here we go with the you chicken. Know, I mean, when I eat, you know, make me want to say it. Yeah. That rice is the bomb. Mmm. 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 See, I get used to eat with my hands, though. The jollof rice. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, what you think about that chicken? I am never really get into it in a minute. I ain't tried it yet. They put lots and lots of onions. Mm. Lots of onions. Mmm. And the chicken yasa. You tried it yet? Mm-hmm. Mm. And it has a distinctive taste. It does. It doesn't have... Like, it tastes like... The spices might have came from like, and I don't even know what spices taste like there, but I would have been Morocco because if I had to vision anything, because I heard when you go to Morocco, mm -hmm. like it smells like spices, and I see them in the videos where they have like all kinds of spice shops and things like that. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. mm, babe. It's very good. Well, when you get into it. Mm. Wow! What do you want? Because you know, babe, mm -hmm. African food has a stigma. It has a stigma. I'm not lying. People have talked about Africa so bad. But, oh you know, it's a great place. Mm -hmm. And it's not always projected, I don't think, fairly. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you may see, like, the poor side of after where kids are starving, you know, there's war, things like that. But you never see where the food is excellent, the culture is excellent, you know, the, the, the cityscapes are beautiful. So things like that. Mm -hmm. But speaking of that, babe, it's Black History Month. Yeah, and since it's Black History Month, I like to say a little something. What's that? A little fact of Black History. My mother, mm -hmm. the late Barbara Gordon, yeah. was the first black woman electrical engineer to work for the mm -hmm. Panama Canal. That's right. It's in the history books. Amen. My mother, first woman electrical engineer to work for the Panama Canal. See that? So proud. See that? So happy. And rest in peace, Barbara. Rest in peace. Well, that is true. And she was certainly an impressive lady, baby. Mm -hmm. She was she was an impressive lady. Mm. And true. So this rice is good, though. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the chicken with all that onion. Like, mm -hmm. you know. I'm going to tell you. You see, I can pick out flavors, but... I can't. I, I just think it's like spices that, four, four spices that I don't know about. First but, I saw all the onions, I thought it might be an overkill, but it, it really tastes good all together. I see you really got a custom even your fingers there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rice is great. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. All right, babe, 
the Ooh. next course. What is it? The famous Igusi stew. Igusi soup. Yes, Igusi soup, Igusi stew. What is the Igusi stew, baby? You know, I'm not an expert on African foods, but what? from what I've heard, it's a mix of various vegetables uh -huh. and and the Igusi seed. Uh -huh. I do not know what an Igusi seed is. Yeah. So. I just had someone Google it to give us some insight. Uh, Howard don't wait for no explanation. He just uh, goes straight for it. So what it tastes like? Mm. I do notice a distinct taste, babe. I, mm. I'm sorry, distinct smell. Yeah, I, I noticed it. Now, I think it's worth it. Yeah, you can get your fufu, baby. You should clean hand up. Okay, get your fufu. My baby does that, but he My just drank it. Mmm, got a tomato base. Is it? Mm-hmm. also probably eat it with our... <coughs> oh, spicy. You didn't tell me that part. <coughs> Just let me go for it. Mm. Hey, babe. Yeah. I don't know. All this hair. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> mm. Babe. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, spicy. Feeling now, hot, hot, hot. Mm. Babe, yeah. I don't know if you guys recognize it or yet not, but I no. got a problem. You got a problem? I've been going, you got a problem. <laughs> I keep forgetting to introduce the drink. Mm. So the drinks we have, babe, mm -hmm. how do you drink it, baby? I have the young man in the restaurant tell me hibiscus drink. Mm. So I'm thinking that's sour and you have ginger drink. Ginger drink. Now, one thing I noticed, babe, yeah. the Caribbean culture, their foods mimic more of the African foods than probably most. Mm -hmm. So let me taste this. Ooh. It does taste hibiscus -y. Refreshing. It's refreshing. This one is very gingery. That's kind of pineapple-y, gingery. Let me try it, babe. Mm -hmm. Let me try. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. This, this is like, like a flowery, sweet flowery. It's definitely different. It's definitely not a Coca Cola. Mmm. I've had this in Jamaican stores, I think. Yeah. This ginger drink. <laughs> mm. Let's go ahead and try Goosey. Watch out. Yeah, this is the latest rage. It's all over the place. So go to African restaurant and get you some goosey stew. Mm. That's what you're all right. Eat with your finger. Like you're a kid. Be free. Oh, if I had some utensils, I'd be doing damage. Be free. Mm. I do see the vegetables. Hey, babe, what about this rice? You this the other rice. Is it the same? Oh, so mm. the goosey stew, sorry. Thank you, babe. Came from. The De Proof restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then rice, we have two kinds of jollof rice. Well, jollof rice, but from two different places. Mm -hmm. This time, we got the jollof rice from the Medina restaurant. So I know all that's confusing, but I'm not trying to get afraid of what's right to do. And I think. That we can say that both of them are on point because they taste very similar. Mm -hmm. So they don't mm -hmm. taste it, not, you know, very any different. So I guess we can judge that that both are on point for what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're drawn off. It's a little spikier though. Yeah, I feel the, like the, the Medina, first one was a little redder. <laughs> yeah, the other one was a little redder. This one's a little spicier from the Medina place. Mm -hmm. You want some more fufu, babe? Mm -hmm. We are getting down with this fufu. Mm -hmm. I food for almost halfway gone. Mm -hmm. mm, Goosey still. It tastes a little bit of tomato. Mm -hmm. And I definitely can tell that Goosey still, it has like some kind of a unique flavor that I can't identify. It's spicy. Yeah. It is spicy. It is dessert. 
Oh, oh yeah. I like that. You got it. What we got? What we got? Hey, look how pretty this cake is. Beautiful. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. And babe, what yeah. what was more surprising uh -huh. is that not to talk about price or anything, but I was just looking for a small cake that you know fit the occasion, but on the formal side. And you know anything from for formal cake is pricey. Yeah. I got this cake from Myers for fourteen ninety nine. What? Yes. Now it came stark white, stark uh -huh. white. So what I did, I just sprayed a little bit of that gold spray paint on there. Uh huh. The artist. Spray paint. No. no. The not be doing music. If he don't paint. eat lemon rinds or strawberry stills, then he gonna eat spray paint. I just said spray paint. Spray paint. <laughs> it must be that edible paint. <laughs> it is. So anyway, I just tried to throw him off, but he he didn't get it. Get he had a long day, guys. He had a long day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets silly too. I want some. Can I get some cake? Anyway, so cake, beautiful. Put some flowers on it. Pow! We changed it around. Oh. And guys, guess what I got? What you got? From the city sweetheart baker, <laughs> sweet and sanctified white chocolate. Gold covered strawberries. Can't. Mm -hmm. Can't get no more sweeter than that. Mm. <laughs> I, I can't win. I'll drink to that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that this juice, this uh, ginger drink is really spicy. I've had it before, mm. but Caribbean restaurant. Um, it's like a ginger. Basic ginger root ground up. Strawberries. Let me, let me try the strawberry because you know what? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Mm -hmm. But, mm. but how? If you pick a strawberry, this sweet, and that's great. When it's 10 degrees outside. Mmm. 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 We, right. like, like it's gold, we, we get on each other's nerves, but that's just a sign of comfortability. Look, people get on home. each other's nerves. That's why houses have different rooms. <laughs> and, huh? you, and you always talk about, come in here with me. Come in here with me. So, I don't want to hear about no other room. But look, we're going to cut into this cake. This don't cake. Look, don't you look crazy with that knife right there? <laughs> Come on, what you, what you gonna do to the cake? Last anniversary. <laughs> so beautiful. God, I hate to cut in it. Cut it. Let's get to it. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at you. We gonna feed each other. <laughs> okay. Still using them fingers, huh? Mm -hmm. 31 years, baby. 31 years. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I think you, I think you try to smash it on my face. <laughs> Not bad, liars. Mm. Well, babe, we've well, been here for 31 years. Yep. 31 whole years. Oh, thank God. Thank God. You know, a short story for you guys. And, you know, just being real about things is that Howard and I, when we got married, we eloped. I'm not saying I recommend that, but when you're young, you know, you make choices, you do things, and you don't necessarily think about, Trust. you know, everybody else around you, you know. But thank God our families accepted us. And we made it, babe. The good, the bad, the thick, and the thin. If I had to do it all over again, I'd do it the same way. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Well, well, I don't know, but you know. Uh, <laughs> cool. But we did it. We did. And we made it. But babe, look. Yeah. What do you think about the meal? I think it was wonderful. I was a little skeptical at first. You know I'm skeptical when it comes to food, especially eating with my hands. <laughs> but you know what? Right. It all was good. It was. Mm. Well, look, we had a great meal. I I even had some reservations about eating African food. And all of those fears have been calmed. It was a great meal. We had a goosey stew. We had cassava leaves. We had the fufu. We had the jollof rice, the chicken, the chicken yasta. It was great. And guys, we want to thank you for celebrating with us. But look, we're going to the anniversary party. Hold on a minute. You ready, baby? I'm ready. Wait a minute. African food makes you feel emotional too, daughter. Mm -hmm. I can't make sure I'm in a minute. <laughs>